Hi, so as promised, just a little quick video tutorial on how to brush um, your dog, whether it be non-shed, curly coat or whatever. You can use it on any dog really, especially double coated breeds as well. And um, as I wasn't lying when I said that Grania was a little bit overdue, you can see her last groom was basically a rough in and I never really got to finish it. Um, no excuses, just, you know, life. But anyway, all is good and we'll sort it out. So we need to give her a good brush out today. Um, and maybe even I'll do a video on washing her later if that's something that you want to look at. But first of all, I want to show you the tools that I use every day in the shop. And also one of our suppliers, one of the home co-op in Tipperary, have um, a really good special on. You usually can only order them for if you're in the business, but they're... Um, They've got a deal on for um, grooming clients at the moment. So check them out. I'll put a link on in the description somewhere. So they have, if you want to bring in your camera, on the bar and the deal they have, you get a bottle of wall detangling spray. It's really good stuff. Uh, that's just a leave-in conditioner, basically, and helps soften the coat and protect the coat when you're dry brushing. Very important to protect the coat when you're brushing a coat dry. Um, the Arturo comb which is a really nice long toothed comb. You can probably hear Raven in the background. Um, long toothed comb, I, you can see I've used it already. Um, and I'm really pleased with it, it's very nice, nice in the hand. That's for checking your work as you go through the brushing. Um, then they also have this lovely slicker, also from Arturo. Raven's going to tell you all about it as well. And this is double sided, double sided flexible brush we call them. One side for fluffing, the other side for going through any tangles. It's really nice and easy in the hand. Flexible brushes are good because they help protect your wrist and they also help protect the dog's skin when you're working. These are the ones that I retail myself in the shop. Um, nice everyday brush. They retail for about 25 euro. I also have these combs in the shop. I think they're 650. They have spinning teeth which is great for when you're combing through if you find it, if there's a snag it's less likely to pull because the teeth spin they're very very nice then this is my new favorite it's the chris christensen i find that very difficult to say this is a chris christensen um slicker and a coral slicker it is and this is the large i love it kate actually gave me this and i'm delighted with it uh, top of the line brush this it's retailing at about 60 pounds sterling so but a really good investment if you have a dog like Ronya who has a fairly long coat and you want to keep on top of it, really good. Bit of overkill maybe for your average groom that comes in every six weeks, six to eight weeks. You don't really need it. Um, but for Grania, it's ideal. So I'll be using this one mostly, but I'll show you how to use these ones as well. Um, I'll put these away and we can get started. So, um, Grania, can you stand up? Good girl. So Grania has clipped body and longer legs. I did this bit already, but I'll show you here maybe this nice chunky leg she has so this coat is a good it's quite long it's an inch and a half two inches long maybe so um it hasn't been brushed i'm afraid to say in maybe two weeks so i'm a naughty groomer i know so i'll show you usually what we do we start at the bottom and work our way up and we use a technique called line brushing so for starters, what I'll do is spray a little bit of conditioner in a coat just to protect it. When the coat is dry and it's dirty, it can snap really easy and you end up with broken hair, which will then, of course, mat even quicker next time. So you want to protect it by, oh my gosh, look at that. Um, you want to protect it by um, giving it a light, light, light spray. Don't soak it, just a light spray of that just to take some of the static out of the coat. Um, then we can pick up the foot and start at the base here. Another thing to remember actually, just when I think of it, if you get your dog up on a higher surface, usually say like a washing machine is a good height, um, you might need somebody at the front just to entertain them, like giving them little treats or whatever, just to keep them still. But up in a height, easier for you, they'll learn that they're getting their hair done and it'll all be fine then. So if you want to come on in and I'll show you again now. So that spray will have dried in a little bit. We start, pull up the coat and pull it down with the brush itself. This technique is called line brushing. So you can really see that I'm going through the coat. Let me get those out of the way, sorry. Um, going through the coat systematically. It's so important, and as the garden flies out of her hair, um, it's so important that you're methodical. It sounds, it's really boring, but you can't just... What we see a lot of is dogs coming in lovely brushed here, and the rest of it is completely matted. 
So that's a really common mistake because dogs don't really necessarily like getting the awkward bits done either and they're more difficult for us to do. So important to start at the bottom, work your way forward and give the dog loads and loads of praise as you go. So you can see the difference and a little bit of hair there as well. It's normal for hair to come out in your brush as you're brushing. Um, even non-shed, inverted commas, um, dogs do shed. It's just that the hair gets stuck in the coat itself. Um, and you can see there that's Grania's coat coming out, it's a dead coat and that's what causes the matting is that hair getting stuck there. So it's really important just work your way through. As you can see she is a little bit of a mess. So I'm just going to do a little bit all the way around the leg. Can you see everything there? And lifting it up and going through. And this brush is actually quite nice, it's my first time using it today. Um, they just sent me a delivery there. Thank you very much for a very speedy prompt service, Stephen from Mullinahoe. So now, we go all the way around and we just want to check that then with our comb. We use a nice new comb. So when you go through the coat, you just want to check it. You want to make sure you're going all the way in. So again, you find open up the coat, find the skin, put it in and down and then go through and see if it's coming through, if it's sticking or not. If it's not sticking, you can move on to the next area. If it's sticking, get back in with your slicker. Don't try to yank with the comb because you will hurt the dog. So I like this brush better just because it's it's quicker and it's it's um more professional. So I'll use that one instead. Just take it through quicker for you. And as you get more used to this, you can actually hear the difference in the sound of the brush when it catches or doesn't catch on any mats or tangles. So that area there is all about done. And what I'll do next is work my way up this leg. I'll do the tail and the whole dog. I might do a fast forward video of that just so you can follow me doing that. And um, then we'll do an update afterwards. Okay, thanks so much. she is now she's brushed out all the way around and the comb froze through all of the coat now i would say usually when the dog comes into the salon i put them straight in the back and i wash them brush them that way but at home and between grooms it is a really important to keep your dog brushed and you have to work on a dirty coat so that's how you do it that way um she is going to have to have a bath and i'm going to have to do it in the shower in our house so if you want to see me struggling with that and um, I can give you a few pointers and tips on how to wash the dog properly, let me know and I can do that. Not tonight, now, probably tomorrow. Um, and then a little blow dry with a handheld dryer like you would have at home. So a little bit more realistic, I guess, than salon style grooming. So that's it. And I hope everybody's safe and well and stay home and we'll get through this and everything will be fine and dandy. All right. Talk to you later. Let me know what you think. Okay, Bye.